what do you get when you take Kirby a Kirby game, turn it into a ball, and get and uh, make it into a golf game? You get Kirby's three course. Hi, buddy. Welcome to DJ's Reviews. And today we're going to talk about a game that has been long overdue for a review for me. And this is kind of a new, brand new thing for me because I decided that on this channel, instead of Frustrated Gamer Reviews, today is the start of something brand new. It's called the Calm Gamer Reviews. It's pretty awesome. So, you guys are brand. If you guys have been over on my other channel, you know about the frustrated gamer. This is this is my other alt. This is just basically me talk about games I actually like. Frustrated gamer is games that infuriate me, or I absolutely. Positively, without a doubt, one hundred percent hate. Anyway, so today is of course Kirby's Dream Course. Now, I thought that coming off of games like NES Golf or any of the other golf games, I was like, oh, this is going to be one of those games that has no end whatsoever. Boy, was I wrong. I thought it would be boring. I was wrong. This game is amazing. I played it all the way through. Now, if you see my tier list of Kirby games, Kirby's Dream Course, was, it was an A. Now, it's staying there. Because I'm telling you right now, the game is amazing. It's not as good as Kirby 64, Kirby Super Star, Kirby Super Star Ultra, and Kirby Star Allies, but it's pretty dang good. And Kirby Street Course, I don't know what it what what it was when I first played the game, but. I didn't really want to play it all the way through, but since it's on Nintendo Switch Online, Super Nintendo, I was like, you know what? It's time. It's time I beat the game. Now, like I said, I thought it was going to be, you go through all the courses, and that's it. No. There's actually a storyline. Apparently, King DDD has stolen all the stars out of Dreamland. And it's up to Kirby to go through all the courses to get the stars back. And I'm telling you, this game will test your patience. Not in a bad way. You have to strategize how to get Kirby to the hole, to certain enemies. And in this game, the enemies are your goal. Now, once you get all the enemies defeated, you, except for the last one, which turns into the hole, you have to get Kirby in the hole. And I'm telling you, Kirby's Dream Course is excellent. There's eight holes yeah, eight holes and eight courses. Then there's a final one, which I'll get to. So, what did I not like about it? I am not a big golf fan. I think it's boring. I'm terrible at mini golf. I kind of wish they would have not used the hit point... And I get it, it's a Kirby game, but it kind of defeats the purpose of the game. Also, I kind of wish they would have had 
something where they were like, you have to get par in order to complete the game on all the holes. I get it. They probably thought that would be too hard to get par on all the courses. But think about it. Games like Mario Party. Games like um, like the recent game, Mario Golf. The recent Mario Golf games, I don't remember the name of the game, but in order to continue on, you had to have par on all the courses. Which is fine. Now, I'm not saying that ruins Kirby's Dream Course. I'm just saying that Kirby's Dream Course probably could have been a little more interesting if they were like, "Oh, you gotta get to the get to the hole by so many uh, putts." Again, that would have been nice, but it's not a bad game. I actually enjoyed Kirby's Dream Course. I would say if you guys have not played it, go get just go on in a cell. And if you have not downloaded the SNES app, download it. Play Kirby's Dream Course. It's a good game. It's really fun. It does have some problems, but I gotta say again, the game is good. It's definitely one of my top favorite spin-off games. I'll see you guys next and I'm going to give Kirby's Dream Course a 9.5 out of 10 just because it's a great game. It's not perfect, but it's a great game. See you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys on the next video.